Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. We'll be talking about commercial real estate in Central and Eastern Europe. So good morning, ladies and gentlemen, a good Thursday morning. And uh, as you can see, I'm here with Mark Toomey, president of Tara Con HR Consulting. Must be the end of the month. Yeah, Mark, we're sure here, is, we're yeah. back. So, 28th uh, of April. Yeah, exactly. So really good to... Uh, a couple days before the end of the month, and of course before the the holiday weekend, I assume you have some cool places. Yeah, you're yeah, off we're, to. we're we're off to off to the seaside for oh, for a couple of days. Very so nice. Okay, we'll be be happy with that. So. Good luck on the weather. Yeah, so, you yeah. Know, hopefully you'll get some nice weather. It was in London. It was very nice there. Always, yeah. you know, very nice and sunny a lot most of the time. So that was good. But uh, yeah, very exciting to hear. So anyway, Mark Toomey, we're here um, to talk about really the uh, kind of the HR market and who's who's been on the move, what kind of deals and what kind of uh, uh, placements have been made over over April. So we hope, uh, you know, I know every, it seems like every month we have a lot of good news and yeah. I imagine it's still rolling on. Yeah, no, yeah. absolutely. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I saw somebody, a few guys last night, actually a bit, bit slow out of the blocks today. We had a yeah, okay. hurry and a few beers last night with some uh, some old real estate boys. Oh, so. good, good, good. <laughs> Never any shortage of Indian food and drinking, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so uh, a, a nice evening. Um, so, uh, yeah, a lot. You know, we we're talking about it last night as well. There's a, you, you know, the market is still very buoyant, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. lot, still a lot of stuff going on. Um, uh, you know, a lot of interest and discussions that we had just about the market in general, sure. and, and you know, of course, always asked like, you know, the, the the amount of movement on the market is also, you know, I suppose an, an indicator as to how buoyant the market is, and and there still seems to be a lot of movement. Right. And um, yeah, if people are changing jobs, they must be confident things are going to go well in the new place. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah exactly. So so we we'll, uh, you know we'll jump into a few of these. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the first of which is Hamish Potts um, is joining uh, JLL as Director of Tenant Representation and um, uh, Hamish is a British course but uh, been, in, been around Poland for a long long time sure. um, spent 10 years over 10 years with Knight Frank in mm -hmm. uh, in, uh, in, in, uh, in a, a office agency mm -hmm. and more recently he has been with Olivia Business Center in Gdansk for the last past three years sure. mm -hmm. and helping them to to, to develop that mm -hmm. and uh, um, and yeah you know he's decided to kind of go back into the agency world as mm -hmm. well so uh, so good luck Hamish. Well Olivia must be just about done or done I would imagine. Yeah, yeah. you know I'd say so I think always things to do but a few, few different ideas but but I, you know I, I would imagine the majority of things mm -hmm. is pretty much done. Um, so moving on, uh, Katrina Tonde, Tondel uh, Jędrzejczyk. Oh, uh, very good. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> I probably I probably butchered that, but uh, apologies, Katrina. Uh, but anyway, she has started a new position as asset manager with Adventum Group, mm, okay. um, uh, and Adventum. Um, uh, are uh, one of these funds that have been very active in, 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 in Poland, one of the newer funds mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. have been very active and um, they've been buying a lot of uh, office in, in, in Poland. I think one of their biggest recent acquisitions was the uh, Sky Tower in Wrocław. Yeah, exactly. Um, that's Trinitsky, a big one yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So that's a, that's a you know, so, so um, they bought a few and they're, they're developing, they're growing in Poland. Mm -hmm. uh, and Katrina is the, the latest person to... to to join their team and help them to to expand any uh, expand further. So um, so so a very nice. Yeah, move I think Kat. they have over a billion billion in assets now. They're uh, wow. managing, okay. so they're doing quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of stuff in around Hungary as well. I think the Hungarian, mm -hmm. Hungarian mm -hmm. origin as well. So mm -hmm. uh, so Katarina was was with um, Balmain for for eight years and Atrium then for six years mm -hmm. prior to that. So so a lot of experience. Um, Mostly retail, but you know, and now she's kind of making a, a move over to to office. Um, so, uh, so it's a good move for her. Um, the next one is um, Barbara Kuprinska uh, Fuganti. Mm -hmm. uh, Fuganti doesn't sound very Polish, does it? Doesn't um, sound very Polish. <laughs> um, but anyway, she she has started as head of legal for AFI Europe, mm -hmm. um, and and. Um, AFI are one of these companies that um, 
there's a few of these companies that that you know recently I've noticed they've been in Poland for a long time, but mm-hmm. they've been kind of under the radar a little bit. Yeah, they've been in the region. They've done. A, I know they've done a lot in the region, like in Romania and places. Yeah, like they're that. massive. They're yeah. number one in Romania, and I think uh, I think here they've just been buying up. Yeah, yeah and, and, and then it's like you know in the last kind of 12, 18 months or so they've just kind of like mm-hmm. almost like exploded onto the Polish market. Mm-hmm. Um, um so um so seen a lot of them in in in, mm-hmm. in your press and 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 uh, so um so they're obviously growing developing uh, uh hiring a new head of legal so so they obviously uh, expect to have a, a lot of contracts to to uh, to, to review yeah well they were buying some uh, some office re- as well so right. they started in the re- i think in Poland more residential and now moving into the the office yeah. or in the office market now for sure yeah and uh, uh yeah Probably oh, good for them, more, yeah. yeah. And uh, congratulations, Barbara. Um, moving on, uh, Jadwiga uh, Kosinska mm-hmm. um, has joined uh, uh, Stochna Czerska Development as project director. And what that basically is, that is a, 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 um, a company that is partly owned Partly or fully owned by a Belgian developer, Elidis, mm-hmm. and that's essentially the shipyards in Gdansk. Oh, okay. So, um, so they bought uh, the uh, almost the entire shipyards. It's like seventeen hectares uh, mm. in 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 Gdansk. So I'm going to, you know, it's a massive, massive project. I was going to say, big project coming. Yeah, there, you know, mm-hmm. so that'll be rolled out over over over. I suppose probably the next ten decades. Years. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, mm-hmm. so so mixed use, um, massive, massive project. Um, so uh, Jadwiga has uh, been uh, uh, selected as project director for that. So it's, mm. you know it's a very nice role. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. You know, with, with such a, a huge project and multi phases, uh, um, uh, you know, retail, mm-hmm. residential, the whole the whole thing. That would so, be a great place. Yeah. Yeah. So so very nice, very nice uh, uh, role. Um, uh, She's a lot of experience as well. Prior to that, she was with HB Rebus as managing director for, for three years. Mm-hmm. Uh, she was Vastant uh, construction director for six years. And uh, before that, she was with Hockty for 14 years. So, oh, wow. So, okay. Yeah. A, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of a lot of experience. Yeah. There. So mm-hmm. a lady with a lot of experience. So, mm-hmm. uh, so, 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 so best of luck to her. And I know the guys from Elidus. Um, so, and it's great. Uh, uh, um, a great catch for them as well. Um, um, Another guy, uh, another company who's doing a lot of development at the moment is Strabag, mm-hmm. and um, and they're 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 growing rapidly at the moment, and obviously they've been uh, uh, buying sites, and they mm-hmm. they've got the uh, I suppose the 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 uh, one of the most interesting ones is is the, the redevelopment of Atrium, mm-hmm. um, so um, they brought in. Uh, a couple of new guys brought in a transaction manager, uh, Shemek uh, Kupik, um, uh, which means that they're obviously looking to to do more transactions sure, um, sure. and more development, um, which is good news for them. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, Shemek is brought in as a commercial uh, commercial real estate manager, um, but his his background is all transactions. I know, I, you know, I know him pretty well. Mm-hmm. Um, and he was prior to that. He was with, he was a transaction manager with PwC. He was also with JLL, at DZ Bank. So right, you okay. know a lot of experience. Um, and they've also brought in um, Maciej Mrosek as a project manager, who will be responsible for all the technical as- aspects of their Krakow investment, uh, which will replace the building of the former Plaza shopping mall. Oh, right. Another big, yeah, another yeah. big remodel. Yeah. Or, or actually demo and, and yeah. repurposing yeah. Yeah. the whole thing. So uh, there's a lot of that going on at the moment mm-hmm. as well, isn't mm-hmm. it? There's, you know, just, you know, uh, demolition and, 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 and redevelopment. And I suppose that's that's what you need to do now. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. You know, it's, it's strange being on the market so long that they're actually knocking down the stuff that you remember <laughs> that, they, that they opened, yeah? Somebody opened, yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it shows your age, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, um, well. Well, Atrium, I was at the opening of that and also the mall in, in Krakow. I yeah, was at the opening my, of that. Um, yeah, my first office, when I first came to Poland in 2006, our, our very first office, and um, the company I worked for at the time was in that Atrium business center. All right, that, okay, so, uh, wow. You know, next to my office was, uh, was uh, Matt Lunt uh, um, when he was with Donaday, I think. And so, right, yeah, right, so yeah. It's, it's, 
Moving um, on, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, so yeah. So, so uh, congrats to the to the to the two guys and uh, to to Strabag on on uh, all the exciting activities that they have going on. Um, moving on then to Griffin Capital Partners, and again, uh, developing further again, and um, they brought two guys in. Uh, to work on their logistics platform, and mm-hmm. um, that seems to be growing uh, exponentially as well. Um, and they brought in uh, Piotr Swok as uh, vice president of of investments. Mm-hmm. Um, Piotr's a good guy; he's been around for a long time as well. He he's been with PZU uh, as investment manager for for the past eight years or so. Um, so very experienced guy, done a lot of transactions in his time, a um, lot of uh, logistics stuff. Uh, and they brought in a young lawyer as well, Patrick uh, Tarski from uh, DPPA. Um, and they've been promoting some of their team. Mm-hmm. Uh, Piotr uh, Podlatek had, had been promoted as well. So there's a lot of movement internally there as well. And they're, you know, you can see that they're, they're, they're you know, they're really growing there as well. Right, so, yeah. Um, so it's a lot, of, a lot of promotions as well going on in the market. I'm not going to... You know, go through all the all the promotions. Mm-hmm. But you can see, the, you know, obviously we talked about it last time. Obviously, you know, as part of that kind of annual uh, appraisal, right, um, right, bonus season, and, and and you know, promotions come with that. So there's a lot of kind of uh, uh, people moving up the the ladder in their in their careers in the market as well. So, um, so that's that's pretty much it. Um, it it's uh, it's been busy, not not as busy as some of the other months, but uh, but mm-hmm. still a lot of. Uh, a lot of activities. So, um, do you see things slowing down because of this war in Ukraine? Are people taking a bit of a step back, or um, like it, like in 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 some ways, um, yes. We were, something we were talking about last night. Um, I think something that that uh, you know is going to be hit is is uh, the construction prices and, and, mm-hmm. and steel prices. Yeah, and we're probably going to experience a slowdown in construction. Um, and the cost of construction um, is, is 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 going to increase, and I think may put people off from 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 development, uh, do, doing new development. Um, so it'll be interesting to see. Like obviously, we're not going to feel the effect of it right now, but we'll yeah, it's coming. To, yeah, yeah, we'll mm-hmm. probably start to see it in, in in you know in six six to twelve months, and and. Um, so it's it's you know, and I think that's the biggest concern right now. Just right. just one of the things I picked up from the conversations we had last night is just construction prices are are, are killing the market. Yeah, yeah, if the people are if if the end users aren't willing to pay more rent, yeah, then it's hard to build it at the old prices. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm-hmm. So um, so look, you know, all we can do is 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 you know keep going and do our best and and and, and hopefully. Uh, you know, we 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 we've uh, we've been through COVID, we've been through global financial crises. So I'm sure we can just the next, yeah, <laughs> I'm the sure next we can disaster. We, yeah. we can ride this out. Yeah, um, right. You know, so. All right. Well, Mark, thank you for joining thank us you. again on the Coffee with Craig show and filling us in on what's going on in in April. We'll probably see each other at the end of May. Yeah, I hope, and yeah. Uh, hopefully all is going well in May. Enjoy your. Uh, Long weekend. Thank Good you. to have you here. I'm glad you made it in before, <laughs> before getting too sunburned over yeah. the, the next few days. And uh, so, everyone, uh, so Mark Toomey, uh, Tara Consulting, HR Consulting, thanks for delivering us all the, the monthly information on uh, kind of the who's on the move. Um, also, everybody watching the show, thank you for watching it. We have over 8,000 uh, viewers a week now on the news and over 15,000 on the interviews. So um, if you're if you're around, well, so we'll see you a little bit later on with the news today, and uh, we will uh, then again see you tomorrow morning. Enjoy the rest of the day. Click here to subscribe to the Coffee with Craig show, and don't forget to share it with your friends.